Threw the ball good tonight. He's in command. You know, his arm had much more life to it. I think he only had one three ball count the whole game. And, uh, you know, obviously went deep into the ninth inning. Yeah, I guess you said after his last start that you guys were making that conversation about ways to freshen him up. I mean, is he doing anything differently with his routine? Or? Well, he didn't throw his in between. I mean, he played some catch. He didn't throw his bullpen. And, um, you know, just uh, he's going to get an extra day or two here with the off days as well. So we just wanted to get him through this game. I really didn't even want to put him out there in the ninth inning tonight. Um, but he obviously had a shutout going. So I went as far as I was comfortable going with him. He was throwing 81 miles an hour his last start. So as much as I wanted to push him, I thought the right thing to do. Had two guys on base the whole. What pitches take out of your arm are a different thing in that point. So I got him out of there and we just got it over with. Think that going forward, he it'll be kind of his routine. He won't throw in between. No, he's got he's got two extra days, so I, I think he he uh, he'll do something. Exactly what I don't know, but um, he he you know he, his arm was definitely not as fresh. He was sluggish, and you guys could see uh, much difference tonight. Is this is this start allay any concerns you had over his you know ability to finish out the season? Well, we, we we'll have conversations about everybody looking at where they're at and what we're going to do. We've talked about going to a six-man rotation. You know, who's going to get the extra start? It looks like one starter will get seven, and the rest will get six, even with the six-man rotation. And you know, who we might add to have his depth so we can piggyback some guys. Defense helped him out too, though, on a couple of those balls. What's that? The defense helped him out as well. Yeah, yeah. There's good plays tonight. Played good, and he gave him the last last inning and the one on Trumbo. You know, you got to take your time, make sure you get one out, change the whole complexion of the game, you rush and try and make, you know, get the double play, maybe you throw it away, and then you've got another guy on, and then the time runs in the on deck circle, you want to stay away from that. But indeed, the one play that Didi, I, I don't know that I've ever seen that. And the, the angle that he threw it, and you know, like trouble side, I thought maybe he might, you know, one hop it over there and then just threw a bullet over there. He's very talented, and, you know, he's. He swung the bat better than in, in results have showed recently, even tonight. Uh, so I can get you frustrated, but he's uh, really matured in the way that uh, he's continued to keep you know, playing both sides of the ball. And tonight's a great example of that. Is that the first time David has really unleashed his arm in the outfield? No, he's just got a good read on it. You know, he came in uh, where he was playing, got a good read, got a nice one hop bounce. He's got a good strong arm. They work on it a lot. Um, you know, and, and Jake made a good catch and had a real nice tag as well. When you say you want to give maybe some rest, is it just you just don't see so productive lately at the plate? Must be hard to keep that back. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got a lot of off days. I don't know how much rest he's going to get right now, but uh, we'll just kind of look at who we've got and see how he's feeling, how he's playing, how nicked up he gets, and then we'll make adjustments from there. How much does that three run inning at the first help Jackson get the road trip out of your mind? Well, we had it out of our mind when we got home. It's a way different environment. You go home last night. Uh, it wasn't, it's a long trip in itself. The, what happened in the games adds more to it. You come in here, you know, it feels like home. You know, they sit in their locker. They're, it's comfortable. They're in their training room. They're in their batting cage on their field. You know, I sit at my desk. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a very nice office. So Chase Fields uh, uh, makes you it's very comfortable. And uh, we, we, were, we were beyond the road trip when we got here today. The first time you guys faced Espana, he, uh, he was really in control. This time, did you guys see anything different, make any adjustments on him to get to home? Well, I think that if you just look at his starts, he started off very hot against everybody. And he's got good stuff. And, uh, and we just have a little better idea what he's going to do, maybe lay off some pitches that we were offering at early on. And uh, maybe the, 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 the home run, you know, throws him an off-speed pitch. And we've seen him do that before. And uh, good length on a swing. So it's just you just have a better idea what to expect. and. Uh, Seemed to have more success tonight against him. Ender seemed like he caught everything that was hit to him. And he's, you could say he covered center fielder like a linebacker. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, even the, the one he got on the pitcher, uh, we just made an adjustment, moved David uh, Peralta over and in. And, you know, Ender, this is one of the things he's doing. He, he, he adjusted with him on his own. Because you know you you don't you you see a pitch you get another strike on a guy you move one guy you don't really have time to go move this guy move that guy very alert and then he makes a great catch because of it so that's kind of how you hope things work and uh, just kind of a, a sign of his maturity.